it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Tuesday, April 9th. So of course, we're still very much in this eclipse energy. Hopefully, if you're listening to this, all is well in your world. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can project ourselves into a better timeline. Now, Tuesday is a very interesting energy, considering the fact that Sunday was kind of like the calm before the storm. And then, of course, Monday, April 8th, with that solar eclipse peak potency, was the cray-cray of the storm. Tuesday is the quiet after the storm. There are five different aspects taking place here today, all five involving the moon, which is a very interesting dynamic to consider this energetic sandwich that we are currently in. And of course, we will be returned to a little bit more of a stabilized energy when the moon in this Aries energy shifts into Taurus energy, 724 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Of course, we did have that moon in Aries go void, of course, very very late in the day last evening and we were sitting in a void of course all night hopefully that didn't kind of throw us into another sleep disturbance tizzy however with this eclipse energy I don't know too many people that are actually sleeping well so with that being said we have another day of emotional realization emotional awareness emotional refinement with all of the aspects involving the moon the moon while still very much in this Aries energy but void of course is going to be making an interaction with Neptune in Pisces energy Energy. So that's an interesting dynamic because, of course, we're going through a spiritual renewal, rebirth with this eclipse energy. That's what Neptune does is kind of cleanses us, purifies us, renews, refreshes us in a spiritual nature. Our vibration is high, our frequency is rising, and we are tapping into different levels, different frequencies where new creative force energies are downloading us with ideas, with epiphanies on what needs to change, what we need to initiate, what we now need to jump into. The moon, while still void, is going to semi-square Mars and then semi-square Saturn because, of course, Mars and Saturn both in this Pisces energy as well. And so this is a tension point. This is a conflict point, especially interacting with Mars. Mars rules over this Aries energy, ruler of this eclipse event. But, of course, in Pisces energy, we're trying to get emotionally, intuitively, spiritually aligned with the new truth, new mission, new purpose, new identity. So emotionally speaking, this is restlessness this is agitation this is frustration because again the realignment the recalibration going on with our energies with our spiritual selves is a very bumpy ride thus this eclipse portal really kind of messing with our energies messing with our physical form the ascension symptoms have just been popping and of course when we go ahead and we interact with Saturn the Lord of Karma this is definitely going to give us a little bit of a harsh reality check kind of ground us if you will show us what needs to fall apart what needs to fall away again Saturn in this Pisces energy is the deconstruction of the old the old system the old belief the old identity everything that goes along with it so this tension point is definitely illuminating what needs to end what needs to die in order for new beginnings a fresh clean start to actually take place this is the point in time when we are going to shift into that Taurus energy again 724 a.m eastern standard time we sit in that for a couple of hours before we have our very first aspect the moon in Taurus is going to square tough interaction with Pluto the great transformer himself in this Aquarius energy so this is intense this is complex we're kind of seeing where it is that we're resisting change we're seeing where it is that we can't see clearly we're not feeling stabilized at this particular point why would we being in this eclipse energy but this is definitely going to take us down a little bit of a dark path a dark narrative really push us into the not so nice thoughts and feelings in order for us to realize what we have to kind of focus on what we have to change what we have to transform what we can be doing better, where it is that we can improve, especially in our physical realm. We sit in that pretty much all day. And around 5 p.m., again, Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have our last aspect this time between the moon 
and Venus. This is a positive interaction. Venus, of course, rules over the Taurus energy that the moon is now in. Venus, of course, still in this Aries energy. She was a major contributing factor to this eclipse event. Major change of heart, major change of worth, major change in values, major change to what it is now that we want to build, we want to create, we want to pursue. So this is going to illuminate for us where it is that, yep, we're having some epiphanies. Yep, the energy is stabilizing. Yep, we're recognizing what doesn't feel so good and we're also recognizing what it is that we could do differently to create a state of peace and harmony and stability in our physical realms especially where love and finances are concerned